Shep, the latest development in this tonight is that police believe they may have found a U-Haul truck in connection with the suspect. They were searching for it throughout the day. They said it had Arizona license plates. They believe they may have found it about five miles from this location in another Brooklyn neighborhood. Of course, they still haven't announced if they have found the suspect. But earlier today, law enforcement did recover a gun from inside the subway station. This is where that shooting happened. They say it was jammed, possibly preventing further tragedy. During the morning rush hour, what happened on a Brooklyn subway train suddenly came into view. It was nothing like fire. It was a lot different than what the smell of fire is. And um, I saw maybe a 16-year-old kid. He was sitting on the steps on coming out the train station, and he had a bullet in his knee. New York City police say the train was still moving when the gunman, wearing a gas mask, deployed smoke and then opened fire between stations. As the train pulled into the next stop, passengers poured out, some running for the exits, others dazed and clearly bleeding. Well, I was speechless as I am now. Um, it's a very scary sight to see. Uh, he looked very scared, and as I stood out the train station, two more injured victims came out the train station, wounded on their knees and on their uh, thighs. At street level, others began to take note of the chaotic situation. We saw commotion. We saw uh, cop cars pulling up. We saw uh, uh, ambulance coming out with a stretcher with a person on it. Their leg was injured, and then we saw after that two ambulances coming out with uh, uh, two people like hopping on one leg. First responders flooded the area searching for the injured, finding that many people had already stepped in to help each other and get out to safety. We saw New Yorkers in a difficult situation, an emergency, helping each other. And Shep, another thing to note is that the city has not fully returned to those pre-COVID commuting numbers on the train. So even though this did happen during the rush hour this morning, there could have been quite a few more people when this happened.